In this video, we will go deep into the teachings of Garbhopanishad and some other scriptures to understand what you knew before you were born. Yes, we will understand the three important things that you understood and that you knew when you were in your mother's womb. Now, there are various scriptures and teachings from ancient India which go into great detail in explaining these things. There is an Upanishad named Garbha Upanishad which talks about the development of a fetus in a mother's womb elaborately. It clearly states at which week what organ is developed. It talks about when the nails are developed, when the heart is developed, when the major organs are developed like this. Intricate details are given and after this does the spirit enter the body. All these details are elaborately mentioned in this Upanishad. And it is fascinating to see that what modern science is telling right now, the ancient Upanishads told us thousands of years ago. The Advaita channel is about conscious living and conscious creation. Here we explore ancient scriptures, Vedanta and spiritual teachings of India to understand the nature of reality and to consciously create our lives the way we actually want to live. Now coming to today's topic, the first thing that you knew when you were in your mother's womb is the knowledge of past lives and reincarnation. This is explained as embryonic awareness in the Upanishad. As per the Garbhopanishad, the soul enters the body of the fetus during the seventh month of pregnancy. And then the fetus becomes a jiva. And by the eighth month of pregnancy, every organ is clearly developed and the baby starts remembering its past lives. And as per the Upanishad, in the eighth month, the embryo becomes complete in every sense. So during the eighth month of pregnancy, the baby starts remembering its past lives. Now all of this probably happens at the subtle levels of mind. And here the baby understands the cycle of samsara, of birth and rebirth. It understands that I have come into this world thousands of times in thousands of different forms. And it also remembers the mechanics of karma. The activity that I have performed has caused me to come here again in my mother's womb. This is what the baby realizes. So if you want to learn more about karma, you can refer to one of our previous videos on this channel. But just to give you an overview, as per the teachings of Hinduism, our subtle body, the Sukshma Sharira, goes through various physical bodies. This is the concept of rebirths and reincarnation. And when we are born again and again, and when we live different lives, we accumulate a lot of data. We perform a lot of action and each action at the physical level, at the mental level, at the energy level, constitute karma. And all these actions are remembered by our subtle body. And this subtle body carries this data and it goes to the next physical body, which is most compatible to the data that it holds. This is why we are born again and again. And this is why we are stuck in the cycle of samsara. And during the eighth month, the baby understands this and realizes this at the subtle level. Now, let's come to the second important point that you knew before you were born. This is the ultimate purpose of life. And since the baby remembers these past lives, it also understands the ultimate purpose of life. It understands that the purpose of life is to go beyond this world to truly realize the nature of reality. This is the realization of God or the higher intelligence which is the cause of this creation. So it understands that liberation is the ultimate goal of one's life and the devotion towards God or self-inquiry is the way to do it. And you knew this before you came here. You understood that this material world by itself is not complete. It is not absolute. There is something beyond this. There is something 
that we are here to realize and know. And that knowledge is the knowledge of Brahman. It is what the Upanishads give us. And that is what we are here to get. So the second important thing the fetus or the baby remembers is the purpose of one's life, which is liberation or enlightenment. Now the third thing you knew before you came here is the intuitive knowledge of good and bad. That baby, since it remembers its past lives and since it remembers the consequences of karma, it understands intuitively the difference between good and bad. It knows what causes it to come to this world again and again. At that point, it remembers the difference between good and bad. Now, what is good and what is bad? The way to look at this is very simple. Basically, we should not do unto others what we do not want ourselves to experience. This is because as per the teachings of Advaita Vedanta, there is only one absolute reality. There is one pure consciousness within which the universe has emerged. And we are all simply different expressions of that same consciousness. So in reality, at a deeper level, all of us are one and the same. We only look different and we only think different. But beyond our body and beyond our mind, we are that one infinite pure consciousness. And since we are all one and the same, when we do something bad to others, we are doing bad to ourselves at the deepest level. When we do good to others, we are doing good to ourselves at the deepest level. This is a deeper understanding of karma. And this is what a baby intuitively knows at a deeper level after the eighth month of pregnancy. Now, it is also said that the baby prays to God during this time. And what every baby prays for is elaborately mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam. And now I will read out a few sentences which have come from Srimad Bhagavatam's third canto, 31st chapter. First, the baby prays, I take shelter in you, O Lord, the Absolute. I am the pure soul, but because of my karma and because of my previous activities, I am now in my mother's womb. I offer my respect to you who are the changeless and the absolute. Second, I am now separated from you because of this body, mind and because of the five elements, the Panchabhutas. I am essentially the spirit, just like you the absolute and I offer you my respect. Third, I am put under the influence of my material nature and I am born again and again. This is due to my forgetfulness of the Supreme. Now I will just directly read a few sentences from a book which gives us the teachings of Bhagavatam and I will link it in the description also. Fallen into a pool of blood, stool and urine within the abdomen of his mother, his own body scorched by the mother's gastric fire, the embodied soul, anxious to get out, counts his months and prays. O oh my Lord, when shall I, a wretched soul, be released from this confinement? So this is what a baby goes through. And then to continue, Therefore, my Lord, although I am living in a terrible condition, I do not wish to depart from my mother's abdomen to fall again into the blind well of materialistic life. Your external energy called Devamaya at once captures the newly born child and immediately the false identification, which is again the beginning of the cycle of continual birth and death begins. Therefore, without being agitated anymore, I shall deliver myself from the darkness of ignorance with the help of my friend clear consciousness. Simply by keeping the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu in my mind, I shall be saved from entering into the wombs of many mothers for repeated birth and death. So as per the teachings of Bhagavatam and as per the teachings of Garbopanishad, the baby remembers many things and the baby knows a lot about the nature of reality at the subtle levels of its mind. But once it comes out of the womb of the mother, the very first breath it takes 
erases this memory this is the veil of illusion this is the power of deva maya as mentioned in bhagavatam so because of maya a veil of illusion is created and the baby simply forgets the knowledge of its past lives and all the things that it remembered while it was in its mother's womb so one the baby remembers the knowledge of past lives and reincarnation second the baby remembers the purpose of life is liberation and the seeking of brahman which is the infinite consciousness and third the baby also remembers the subtle intuitive knowledge of what is right and what is wrong but all of this the baby forgets as soon as it takes the first breath this is how it is explained in these ancient texts now if we think about it why does this happen why will the baby forget all that it remembers from its past lives and from its past experience why do we forget this and why do we come here as though we are a blank slate although swami vivekananda clearly says that none of us come here with a blank slate we come with a lot of accumulated karma but i think we forget what we remember because this gives an opportunity for a fresh life if we already remember what we have been through in our past lives then this birth will not be a rebirth it will simply be a continuation of that same birth but by erasing our memory the nature will give us an illusion of a new birth although it is not a completely new birth it will seem to us that we are learning everything from scratch and we can go through our own journey and make choices while we are not conscious of the knowledge from our past